Yo, today, uh, I'm gonna do something I've been wanting to do for years. a long time, ever since I've had this Forerunner. I am gonna go the cheap, ricey getaway and plaster dip all the silver trim on the Forerunner today. We are going to plaster dip it black because there's gonna be a uh, little four by four meet August 1st. And so I kind of want to get some stuff done on this to make it nice so I can take it there and enjoy the other cars and have a cool one of my own there. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to start off by clay barring, clay barring the, uh, the wheel well and then wrap it or not wrap it, but, uh, mask it off and then just start shooting this stuff. I've never done anything big. I've only done badges. I've done that badge. Um, I think that's all I did. Yeah, just those two badges are all I've done. I did a couple of Caleb's badges, but I'm gonna figure it out. If it turns out crappy, let's peel it back off. Okay guys, here's the first one. It turned out actually really good. I got two little spots right here on that rubber seal. And I think it's because I laid it down too thin and didn't pull it off. But I'm gonna put some more on there. But then I've already got this side getting it masked off. So now I just need to clean it with the clay bar, make sure it's all clean. And then uh, I got my plastic dip cans. Got them out there in the sun because you kind of want that can warm. That way the stuff comes out and lays down better. Um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'm gonna keep going and I'll show you guys some more. Hope we can get this whole side knocked out and then uh, it'll be done and we can flip around and do the other side. Okay, I got it all painted right now. It looks kind of blotchy because it's drying. I, hopefully it'll settle down and be as smooth as this one. Right now I'm gonna pull all this off start working on peeling that back i'll show you how that works in a second and then we'll uh get going the other side so now we're left with like this little right here if you look look at that so satisfying Let me get some tweezers for that because I don't want to mess that up. Uh-oh. That was going a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna do this without the camera. That way I can be careful. There it is, all peeled. Looking good, but it's hard to tell in this garage right now. So uh, let me do the other side and then I will just pull it out in the sun and let you guys see. Okay, both sides are done. Um, I'm not gonna pull it out yet because 
I don't want to let it in be in direct sunlight yet. I want to let it kind of air cure for a while. So I will probably wait a few hours before I go put it in the driveway so I can get a better overall shot, but you guys will see that soon. But before I pull it out of here, I do want to try some of this. I've never cleaned the leather in here and my buddy sent me a picture of before and after cleaning the leather in his clean car, how much of a difference this made. So I'm curious to see how well this will work with a dirty car. So uh, chemical guys, leather cleaner. He didn't use a conditioner. I don't know if I'm gonna do that. I might try it on a small spot, but also got a horse hair brush. So let's take this stuff and we'll use this and we'll use this. We'll just do a quick little spot on there. Let me get a light stuff in here. Okay, I got you guys hanging out the back of the seat. I'm gonna do it heated and just have a, a line right here so we can see. Um, let's see what this says. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Shake well, spray cleaner on microfiber cloth. Gently work a leather cleaner into surface to remove dirt. Um, I'm not sure why he, they said to use the brush then. Let's just use the brush. Shaking it up. Turn nozzle to, turn nozzle to spray. I don't know how much to use. I've honestly never have done something like this. I don't know how much scrubbing this needs. say that's good. Okay. See. If, oh my gosh. Look at that, guys. You guys see that? Holy crap. Wow. You guys have got to see that. That's humongous. Okay. Now I'm excited. Let's do a chunk of seat real quick. Okay, we're taped off. I honestly don't know how much it takes. I'm just like putting on the lot on there, I guess. Probably spend a little more time scrubbing it a little bit better. Maybe using a microfiber clean cloth instead of my dirty one. Alright. But there's definitely still a line. Don't know. Yeah, it's not as dramatic as that. That's still good. Still, that's still really cool. I'm gonna keep on cleaning these seats. And uh, I just wanted to share that quick little bit with you because who doesn't like it like a before and after? So 
Anyways, I'll show you the uh, plastic dip in a little bit. All right guys, sun has gone down a little bit. So we're gonna show you the forerunner now. So much better. I don't know what that is. Did I hit that with my foot? I'll have to see if that cleans off. I think overall, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think the black definitely looks way better than the silver. That's it. My buddy told me about some stuff to put on there to kind of like shine it up and protect it a little bit. So I'm gonna do that. But uh, I'll keep you posted on how this stuff holds up. Hopefully it holds up for a while and doesn't like crap. So we're gonna go with that.